what's up guys how are you doing welcome back to my channel my name is ses paulo and if you're new here kindly consider subscribing to this amazing channel so as you can see i'm showing you the cooker that i got and i just want to demonstrate to you how to use this one from the installation to everything how to use these are uh, the banners how to use the oven and everything i just want to show you guys just in case you'd like a guide on this so let's begin so first i connected my gas outlet as you can see the pipe right there i have connected it so that it can bring the lpg to my cooker so that is it and then so here is the gas that i've connected it to and it's on so for to turn it off you do this you turn it to that direction it's off and it's on so now it's ready to give us gas right here next we will plug this in here for ignition so you can use a matchstick but i prefer using this so you can use the electricity once you turn it on now you don't have to use a matchstick it is ready to be used and don't mind you see the backsplash here the other cooker when you're cooking food would splash at the back there so i have to repaint that part because with this new cooker now i have this top and with this top now i don't have to worry about food splashing at the back so don't worry about the look there we will fix it soon but as you can see now we are connected to our electricity our gas and let me just push this so the legs really make it easy for you to push this as you've seen uh, now that that is set up i really hate the look back there but there's no way i can show you this video guys without me showing how bad it looks now this is the cooker let me show you the buttons now so the knobs that's the gas cooker so this one is where you turn it on you hear that that is because we plugged it there so you don't have to use electricity you just turn it and then you hear that sound that means that you can now switch on your gas that is it and so for this specific cooker these one two three and four are the ones to cook on the gas burners up there so this one one two three and four i'll show you when i turn them on and then this one um this one and this one are for the oven the other one this other ignition there is for the grill so let me show you how to turn on the gas burner so let's turn this on practically so you do that squeeze it in and there you go the first one is on second one the same thing third one and i've seen some people you do this and then you leave it there no you have to push it all the way until it's on so that is simply how you turn on the gas burner that easily and it's quite hot and remember you should never ever at any point close that lid when this is on that is a crime okay i don't know if it can cause a fire but never ever do that so yeah now let's turn this off And this is not that by the way this the discolored nails i used different nails that's why you see the discoloration it's the color of the nails now that we are done with the gas let's go down to the oven so let me just adjust this for you guys so yes right there we have it so we're going to open the oven first and um i don't know if it's necessary but it's advisable you remove the everything first of all before you turn it on so i'm just going to remove everything 
just the trays because we want to start baking now okay now let's close this up and for the knobs you start with this one right here this one is where you choose the source of your heat if you want you see there's a oven the upper heat and there's the lower heat so this button here is going to help you so for this one like if you want heat i want heat from both up and down so i'm going to use where it shows me two lines which means up and down so that's the first one to set up next you will come and after choosing the source of the heat you will come now and choose the degrees that you want to bake whatever you're baking at and you can always use this cooking guide as you can see here they can tell you all the temperatures that you can set anything at so we will set ours at 180 yes let's set it at one. 70 yes 170 so you can set whatever temperature you want there the third thing now you're going to do is the time now you are going to set the time that you want to bake it at let me just zoom it so that you see so this is our timer so if you want to bake a cake for let's say 40 minutes and you want to preheat your oven for 15 minutes you can set it up to 55 minutes or you can set it for 15 minutes it preheats and then you will come and set the temperature for baking let me just demonstrate so that you understand me better so the two ways the first one you want to bake for 30 minutes so you can preheat for 10 minutes as you can see once you turn on the temperature it's turned on it's red here and down there you can see the oven is on so it can preheat like that and then you wait until it's done preheating and it clicks then once it clicks it's done preheating you put your cake you put your potatoes whatever you're baking inside the oven and then after that you come back and set back now the temperature for baking which is maybe 30 and there you go you bake your cake the other way i was telling you is if you don't want to keep on turning it on and off but this one you have to be very accurate with time like for me i forget so i prefer this way so that i don't waste gas but if you're very keen you want to bake for 30 minutes and you want to preheat for 10 minutes you can come and turn it on to 40 minutes so that it preheats up to 30 minutes and then once 30 minutes are over you'll come and open your oven put your cake and then it continues all the way until it clicks but anyway that is how you turn on that is how you operate the oven and as you can see it's on it's heating and it's not advisable for you to open this door as it's preheating but that is basically how you do it and we are going to leave it on because i actually want to bake some potatoes so we are going to let it preheat for about 10 to 15 minutes and how you know that it's totally like it's completely preheated you just come and put your hand at the door here and when it's too hot that you can't even touch it you know that it's ready that it's preheated and now you can come and put whatever you want to bake and you preheat so that you can cook your food faster and evenly because if you put it right now when it's not even hot it's not going to be cooked well so that is it and so as you can see now our oven is preheating and it's not advisable for you to open this door as it's baking as it's preheating i'm going to show you now how to use the rotisserie and this is basically what we are going to add as you can see this is the thing where you will put your chicken in your meat and you're just going to adjust at this cup point here you will remove this one here you remove it and then you'll just come okay let's just do it remove that put your chicken adjust it and make it very tight then you will come and put it inside here 
as, as I said, it's not advisable for you to open this, but since I want to demonstrate everything at once, I'm just going to go ahead and show you. So you have your chicken, you've put it here. You'll just come and attach this one inside. And it's already getting hot, so be very careful. So I'm trying to put this castig inside the hole. There is a hole at the far end. That's where I'm trying to put this one so that it rotates. Let me just remove this one so that I can demonstrate it very well for you guys. So that hole right there, that's what I'm talking about. That's the hole that you should insert this inside like that. As you can see, it's inserted. And be careful, this one is already hot, so you might have to use your whatever a glove but now basically you just make sure that this stick is in between these things these ones right there so that it's easy to rotate it and then the chicken will be here you can see our grill everything in the rotisserie has been fixed so we'll come now and turn on the ignition button for the grill and this is it this is the one that you're going to press as you can see so you just press it like that and then it will start to rotate as you can see it is rotating yes and that is basically how you fix the rotisserie that's how you use it and yes guys and by the way i forgot to show you something about this oven um uh, let me show you the top you see the top it uses a coil yes so i read that that helps with even distribution of heat i don't know how true that is you can tell me in the comment section if that is true yes once you're done using your four burner cooker the last step of course is turning everything off so we'll turn off the grill the oven everything take it back to zero everything as you can see take it back to zero and there everything is off and you are done with your cooker so that is basically how you use the oven and the gas and as you can see we are preheating our oven right now and yes i'll see you guys in the next video and if this video was helpful to you don't forget to give it a big thumbs up like share subscribe and comment and i'll see you in the next video guys bye bye and happy holidays Mwah.